Hello again. So here we are, and the sweet peas, as you can see, are in. Uh, we did film this during the day, but unfortunately we made a bit of a rookie mistake and we didn't check that the sound had worked. However, I can give you all the information in one easy little section. You will see that we have put fence posts up, big solid fence posts, because sweet peas, when they grow tall, they may look tiny wee now, but when they grow tall, they're very heavy and they bush out. We don't, uh, we don't cordon ours, we just let them grow up into a great big bush because I love all the foliage and the tendrils and everything as part of my floristry. I don't want, you know, 65 centimetre stems, but no foliage. So we go for high engineering. So we've got really strong fence posts and you can see this is the plastic netting we used to use, um, which was very efficient. But in an attempt to go plastic free, we have sourced some jute netting, which I think will be good, although it's looser than the plastic. So we'll have to tie the sweet peas in a bit more, I think. We'll see. Uh, I then dug a trench with my trusty hoe. <laughs> this is my lovely hoe. <laughs> I dug a trench all the way along and I filled it with Dalefoot Lakeland Gold, which breaks up the clay beautifully, but is also really, really a lovely, strong, rich compost. Sweet peas like a lovely, rich compost. And so I've planted the sweet peas straight into the Dalefoot. I gave them a really, really good water before I planted them and I have watered them in individually with an actual watering can to make sure that's, how's that for an absolutely filthy, gritty realism watering can? Um, but they've all been individually watered in, not because they especially needed lots of water, but because watering in mixes up the earth around the sweet pea and the compost that the sweet pea is growing in and kind of glues them all together a bit. So they've all gone in, they've gone in about nine inches apart, which is about a little bit wider than my hand span. Um, and they will, I hope, grow. Our first crop is in the polytunnel. This lot will be flowering from July. And what am I gonna do with my empty root trainers, which I grow my seedlings in? these fantastic things. Um, I am going to sow another crop. Sweet peas are the only thing I never direct sow. <laughs> Hello? I never direct sow because the mice will eat them. So th I will sow another crop in here and then we'll have another crop outside in about six weeks. So hopefully we'll have lots of lovely sweet peas to show. Don't forget, please, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so that you will get notifications of new episodes. We've got some fun ideas coming up soon. See you later. Well, it's been a lovely day in the garden. So hot, I've watered my tulips, which is quite weird for the 5th of April or something, whatever it is. And I've seen that my bluebell crop, my wild bluebell crop that I have in the in, down the other side of the polytunnels are wilting. So I'm going to water those tomorrow morning. And now, because I'm a good girl and I'll get told off if I don't, I'm going to take all my tools and all my pots and put them away because otherwise I'll be in trouble. Come on then, let's get going. Oh, should we leave the watering? I, well, I'm going to leave the watering, you caught me. I'm leaving the watering can behind on purpose because I will come and give all of these people another water tomorrow. And I will give them a, an individual water probably every day for a week, after which I'll kind of leave them to it. By then they'll have got their roots down and they'll be happy, I hope, to grow and flower for us. Okay, see you later.